friends are always welcome through your door. But please don't piss us off, remember, we pay for your floor. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the We Pay For Your Floor podcast. My name is Andy. My name is Phil. And I'm Sarah. Uh, and just a reminder that this season, the We Pay For Your Floor podcast is sponsored and today's sponsor is, I need to delete the one that I did in the last episode so I don't accidentally reuse it. Today's sponsor is HelloFresh. Uh, Does this mean we're proper YouTubers now? No. <laughs> define proper, define YouTuber. Put that on Green Chef. Green Chef and HelloFresh. I don't think I've heard of Green Chef. No, they're owned Bring by HelloFresh. Bring back Hello Little Fresh. Chef. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, God, yes. And in oh. today's episode, we are going to be discussing... Too many brummies or not enough boric acid? <laughs> Too many brummies. Not Too not. many brummies. Can, can we do the science on this? <laughs> <laughs> I, we... I'm willing to invest my non-existent savings to do the science on this. <laughs> I feel like that's the start of a joke. Two brummies walk into a bromide. <laughs> <laughs> Brummies walk into a fucking <laughs> chemical compound. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's the makings of something there. They there's, don't know what a chemical compound they is. They don't know what a compound. They're thinking they're walking to a fucking housing estate. Oh yeah, it, it's it's a fenced up area where you yeah. keep your calcium. That's it. <laughs> it's just you, a park full of. You tea. know how calcium is a cow pen a chemical compound. <laughs> <laughs> now that is the question we should be asking. That's the title right there. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Sarah. Yes. How's your floor? Um, strangely vaginal. Calcified. Calcified, if you will. Oh, you don't want a calcified vaginal floor. No. <laughs> so it's and all the rage. Wednesday. It's all the rage, you know, nowadays. All the kids are doing it. What they do? Calcifying is their not floor. A vibe to do. They do. But that, that's um good. So to no. Don't want to calcify. It's all the minerals in the water, you see. Calcify. Calcify. You knew what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun here on the weekend. <laughs> I have fun. We have such fun. <laughs> Speaking of things that we have, though, mm-hmm. we have. A new segment. Because I had a little idea, fair yes. listeners, yes. many a moon ago, um, that we would watch random shit <laughs> instead of talking about random shit. But then we would talk about that random shit that we watched. <laughs> Such a new and exciting <laughs> idea that no one has ever possibly ventured into before. Uh, so I'm calling this segment next episode <laughs> okay. yes. um, where we watch something we give our thoughts very briefly with the ultimate goal of deciding if the first episode of this thing that we have watched warrants us wanting to watch the next episode essentially is this show interesting enough to make you want to continue watching it so we decided to start this I say we <laughs> we were very much in the dark about what was going to be put on here <laughs> so I decided to start this with that Australian classic, Sons and Daughters. Mm-hmm. Now, had either of you heard of Sons and Daughters before we started? I, d- I knew no. the concept. I knew there was a concept. Of I knew you could have sons or daughters. And or and or daughters. And or daughters. And or daughters. Possibly both um, at the no, same time. Never heard of sons and or daughters before. Well, yeah. I feel as though already this has been a learning experience. Yes, which it's yes, is I've learnt what I hope to bring yes. to this table. <laughs> um, I found out about this show long, long time ago mm-hmm. because I was very ill. <laughs> we know, Phil. <laughs> it's okay. Thank um, you for talking to us about <laughs> it. <laughs> it helps to share sometimes. <laughs> well, no, I was, I was very ill. Um, I was in year seven. Right. In uh, secondary school. I just started secondary school. How long have you been holding on to this? <laughs> uh, the only reason I know I was 
like the, the first half of year seven yeah was because we he shoot. found his first pew ah no no that happened the tuesday after <laughs> It's in my journal. <laughs> <laughs> literally, uh, diary. Li- literally the, the pube. The pube is sellotaped <laughs> in his journal. <laughs> I fucked it for your safekeeping. They all are. Uh. It tastes like raspberries. <laughs> oh, no. The, f- not quite raspberries, more gooseberry and lime. <laughs> gooseberry and lime. Um, but no. Uh, so in your, uh, you're in year seven. What's your pube taste like, Sarah? <laughs> Apparently, fills the gooseberry and lime. Uh, just Stamanza. What? What? Stamanza, that was the name of my first pube. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What? <laughs> We've derailed this. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone slightly off topic, though. Uh, you in the film f- part of the pube, say, <laughs> oh, Sarah? I've been particularly like. <laughs> fucking hell! I've never heard you go that high. That's a train <laughs> breaking hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna right, I'm gonna make a guess. Just tell me if I'm close. <laughs> Bachelor's chicken noodle soup. <laughs> well that's eerily close. <laughs> I don't know to be honest. I don't know about you, but uh, you don't tend make... you don't tend to suck on pubes. Do you? <laughs> it's not something that you one likes to do in one <laughs> in one spare time. You know, it's it's not a hobby. It's not a hobby. You can send what you you can send what you want. One doesn't tend to um t- sample one's partner's loved ones as pubes. <laughs> I need to know for the podcast. Uh, so, so what were you saying? Sorry, Phil. So I was Back very ill. <laughs> yes. So for the first year of year seven, you were you were discovered yeah, this seven. years. Uh, yes. So I knew it was like the first p- half of year uh, year seven. So <laughs> sometime between. <laughs> He was really trying to dance around. Oh, fuck. That's what makes me feel Can we get over the fact that apparently I say the word yeah in a very stupid way? <laughs> Could you say it like yeah? yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's almost funny when you just drawl it out and drop your jaw. Yeah. yeah. It's funny I'm when he tries. I'm fish. It's funnier when he's definitely <laughs> trying not to like... say it. And he's like, over many dozens of months. <laughs> but he can't even say it. Because he'd say it like, the id, wouldn't he? The id! The id! The id! Decade? I don't mind that. Years, years. Oh, the normally. The id! Normally! Milty fucking way! So. My no, set First, first, first half of year seven, you you yeah. discovered this sons and sons of daughters, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> For the purposes of the day, Andy has spat everywhere. For fuck's sake, you have just coated the entire room in tea. <laughs> sons of daughters. <laughs> sons of daughters. <laughs> Go get a towel for your no, moist bint. No, carry on, I'm sorry, Phil. Go on, yes. Talk about your sons <laughs> and daughters. And daughters. <laughs> oh. uh, but that might be a clean in my dice tin. It was definitely some point between September 2003 and uh, and March. <laughs> right. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Around this sort of time. Yeah. So like January, February sort of time. Mm. Oh, it's like your 10-year anniversary. Only, only reason I know yeah. that is because we were only in that house that we were at for six months. Right, okay. Uh, so it had to be uh, during that small, time that period. Small time period, uh, yeah. So I can narrow it down quite specifically. Yeah. Um, and while I was ill with fever and not being God. very nice, um, my mum, bless her, decided... Uh, I, I was on one sofa and she slept on the other to keep an eye on me. Yeah. And we just had Channel 5 because, of course, it was Channel, Channel 5. Channel 5, where Big Brother uh, was for a, for a long time. In the back. This was before they had Big Brother. This Jesus. Was, Big Brother was still on Channel 4 at Channel this point. 4, yeah. Um, 
We just had it's random like shite on. Show. Hmm. It, actually, it might have been Channel 4. Do you remember when King go? <laughs> <laughs> champagne bottle was a Oh, place. no, that's just my God. <laughs> she did that? She, uh, she did, bless her. <laughs> in all her glory. Do you remember when... I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what Kinga is. <laughs> it, was, it was a woman. It was a woman. <laughs> it, it was a woman. What is it now? <laughs> Lord, no one knows. No one was a hundred percent sure she was human. <laughs> she opened a wine bottle with a mint. She did. It's We've actually all quite been impressive. There. <laughs> so Friday night down the wine years bar. Years and years ago, you were ill on the sofa. Your mum was. Your sons of daughters are sat on the other <laughs> yeah, so sofa. My, <laughs> so my, my mum had fallen asleep on the other sofa. I was just not able to get asleep, very restless. Mm. And the TV was just on. Yeah. And it was just playing random shite. And I watched six or seven episodes <laughs> back to back of Sons and Daughters because right. for some reason that was all that was on Jeez. from about one in the morning till Makes sense. Like early morning. It's just a, it's a, that song has been stuck in my head for about a decade. It's a, sons and Daughters. It makes sense why you're like you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Channel 4 received a bunch of complaints from Mont Rockcom because Kinga simulated having sex with a wine bottle and a plastic dog on a Tuesday and night. And a plastic dog? And on a Tuesday night. It told you nothing that the good The day of week Tuesday. doesn't come into it. What's the plastic dog She came to into you? a wine bottle. Or so, the wine bottle came into her. So, um... So so you go, that's the face she was pulling. <laughs> 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 I need to go Sarah needs to see this. this. Let's <laughs> have a look. I can't remember. It's all it's such a long time ago. Oh wow. Oh well, that was the first one I oh, found. Oh that made my uh, <laughs> I made all my kegels clench. Oh, so you watched six Sorry, episodes of Sons and Daughters. Of Sons and Our Daughters. Uh, I I watched a fair few. Yeah. I don't remember anything that happened. In it. <gasps> the only thing I remember is it was entertaining <laughs> in my fever adult mind. <laughs> and the theme song was stuck in my brain yeah. ever since. Yeah. And it will be stuck in yours. <laughs> it is it now. might not be now. No. But I guarantee in a week's time, it it'll come back. Yeah. And it'll get you. And it will never go. Just like Mariah Carey's gopher. That's yeah. stuck in my head for a very long time. Just like Mariah oh, Carey is a gopher that doesn't know how to swim. Yeah. <laughs> so, all of that preamble leading up to Sons and Daughters. Mm. Next episode? I, I would, yeah. I'd want to know what happens next. So... Oh, I would fall out of my fucking mind, <laughs> so I would say no. However, I feel like I need to know what the fuck was going on yeah, at the end there. Yeah, yeah. So the, the I whole almost, dream wa- sequence so I almost want to yeah. say yes because I want to know what the fuck the point of this shit is. Yeah. See, I feel as though I have been a little bit naughty with this because, from what I've found out, episode one, as we watched it, is episode one, but from what I understand, episodes. One, two, and three may have been originally released as one sort of long feature-length episode, mm. as all the things that I can find online of one, two, and three together mm. actually end with a credit sequence after episode three. Ah, whereas, right. Whereas episode one just ended with to be continued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then bye bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. I want to find out, don't get me wrong, it was very poorly put together. It did make me laugh, though, just because of the ridiculousness and how poorly it was done. Um, but I, I want to know what happens. I want. To, I am 100% convinced that he falls in love with his sister. You, you also both seem to have very strong feelings about Patricia just up and leaving oh, the baby. Oh, she's absolutely... And the fact that she took a baby as well, that's yeah. just... Uh, if anything, it's I, not bog I, off, I thought you know she was I mean? going to stuff both of them into the suitcase or just Shh. leave both of them. Yeah, I thought at but least no, leave she both. she one and fucks off. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this is my favourite. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's like, yeah. I'm taking the girl. You can have this little son of a bitch. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. And then for some reason, he was up a pylon. Yeah. 
He was up a pile on inviting the world to his sister's wedding. Yeah. But not his twin sister. But not his twin sister. No, no. His, his... So he doesn't actually know he has a twin? He must not. No, uh, he must not know. It wasn't discussed in that episode. No, I don't no, know. No, I'm assuming. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. That's why I want to watch the next episode. Plus, he is maybe possibly horny for his sister. Oh, yeah. I wasn't paying too well, much attention. Or whatever that's more. Whatever the fuck that dream sequence it was. It looked more like the mum. It looked more did like Did it look like the mum, did it? I thought it looked like the sister. Well, the sister was a fucking baby. That's exactly. All we saw of her. That explains yeah, the yeah, nappy. Who was that woman? I can't. It looked like Patricia. I think I think that's gonna be his sister. He's and got, he'll got Oedipus complex. And he'll go, oh my god, I saw you in my dreams. You're my dream girl, 100. percent Oh yeah, yeah, he's absolutely gonna fuck, like yeah. meet his sister, not knowing it's his sister. It's gonna be a Star Wars scenario. Her, yeah. And then find out it's his sister. It's his sister. Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent Australia. Oh, I forgot that right. Yeah. That's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know. I do. No, I don't. I don't remember what happens in. I saw eight episodes of this through delirium. <laughs> through delirium, very early in the morning, a decade ago, <laughs> um, and until tonight, I haven't seen an episode since. Mm. Then why the fuck did your brain just randomly come back up with this? Because it's because still. the theme song is there. Okay. Always. It's slowly been sending him mad all these years. Yeah, the, the theme song. The theme song is. It's, it's not one that goes particularly hard. It's not one that's particularly dull. It's just. It's just there. It's just yeah, is. It is always. It always has been and always will be. Yeah. Yeah. Like come outside. And yeah. the interceptor. Oh, oh, the interceptor. <laughs> Have we told you about the interceptor? No. We, oh, it's fucking glorious. Yeah. That brings me to the uh, the point. What would what is our next episode? Who would like to pick? Um, what we watch next time we do one of these. Ooh! Andy, would you like to, or I'm shall we to offer it up to s- should... Is it is it going to be something funny or something? Spooky? It can be whatever you like. Just pick the first episode of the series. We'll watch it and then we'll talk about it. You want to do the next one? Do you want to do the next one, or would you like to offer it up to Sarah? I'll let Sarah do the next one. Cool. Very I have well. some episodes in mind. Love it. Excellent. Splendid. Splendid. I'll give you homework for next time. So look forward to that. <laughs> and speaking of, I believe you had a topic. You had a topic. Uh, topic. Because so, you've got a game. Yep. Coming up. I think if I do my name game now. Yep. And then next episode. Yep. We can do my topic and your game. Like and I'm sure topic. you'll add another thing as well. I have a very brief. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay. So let's do a name game. <laughs> Uh, let me just get it ready. If you two want to prepare yourselves mentally. What? <laughs> I'm ready. Duck. Uh, so no! <laughs> you, have, you have three options. Because I forgot there's two we still haven't done. That's numbers. Do you want to do Tricks and Metal? Yes. RuPaul? Or... Nobody wants to do RuPaul. <laughs> Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Charles Give fucking Dickens. Give me that Dickens. Charlie Dick. Char- Give me... Charlie Dickie. Okay, but we've yep. got to do one of the two that I've also got after, like, next time. Because okay. I've had these saved for ages now. Okay, <laughs> so today's Celebrity Name Game is going to be Charles Dickens. Have fun finding pictures for this. <laughs> I have my sources. Okay. <laughs> Catch up, mm-hmm. lately. Are you ready? <laughs> Let me just check I've got the correct oh, I'm number. I'm Phil, that's Sarah. We've been over this. I'm Phil. <laughs> yep, I have the correct number. Are we ready to begin? Yes. Now, yes. I just have to be clear. Does it, it have to rhyme? Yes. Okay, that sounds... Okay. A bit so, inside the box, but... let's whatever. start... At the first one that I did. That is a good place to start. What <laughs> is it called when Charles Dickens is poultry? Charles Chickens. Oh, very good, very good. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Okay. What is it called when Charles Dickens is a very common building material... Charles Brickens. Oh, damn it. And that's another point for Phil. Sarah needs to score something. What's it called when Charles Dickens is feeling a bit under the weather? Charles Dickens. There we go. Sarah's on the board. What are you doing up there? What's it called <laughs> when Charles Dickens is eating ice cream? Charles Dickens. <laughs> Three one to Phil. Number four. What is it called when Charles Dickens... Is making a noise like a dog. Let me okay. Let me rephrase that. What's it called when Charles Dickens 
is making Snarl the noise stickings? of an angry oh. dog. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Four one to Sarah. You need to get some on the board. Four one to me. Sorry, four one to Phil. I meant <laughs> fucking hell. You're what doing is hanging good. in four? <laughs> what is it called when Charles Dickens is pressing the button of a mouse? Charles Clickens. Uh. <laughs> Sarah, Phil, Phil's trouncing you. I, I am aware I still have one. <laughs> What's it called when Charles Dickens is a burning candle? Charles, Charles Dickens. Dickens. I'll give that to both of you. You both said it at roughly the same time. Okay. What's it called when Charles Dickens is a tiny blood-sucking insect? Charles Leachins? Got a rhyme. Uh, Charles Mosquito Wins? <laughs> oh, Charles Tickings! There you oh, go! Oh, you uh, dumb fish. Kay. Well done. What's it called when Charles Dickens is the opposite of treats? Charles Trickins. There you go. Sarah is catching up. What's it called when Charles Dickens He's just getting a bit wider. Charles, Charles Dickens. Dickens. Both of you. Ooh. Oh, which means Sarah cannot... No, 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 wait. Sarah can tie. A knot. What is it called when Charles Dickens is the fallen part of a tree? Charles Dickens. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Was that Charles Dickens? And lastly... What's it called when Charles Dickens is speeding up? Charles Quickens. Yay! <laughs> Very good. Oh, so this is Charles Tickins. <laughs> so, after being three all for quite a while, Phil has taken the lead for the season. Excellent, excellent. Oh. Very good, very good. Bring out your bitch biscuits. <laughs> And Scrabble boards. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I am Scrabble back, boards baby. at dawn. <laughs> that was it's an occurrence. That's occurrence. Oh. I'm aware this episode's quite short so far. We should probably do something else. I thought you were doing a, a, a news bit anyway. I have a news bit. Here's a news um, bit. If you like, I can just do my my quick little segment. Yeah, absolutely. Um. So. I like to think that I'm mildly competent with computers yes. compared to certain people. Mm -hmm. Yes, I won't uh, argue with you there. However, there are some things where I, I'm i not very good at touch typing. Okay. So, in my line of work where I have to leave a lot of notes on a lot of different customers' accounts mm -hmm. throughout the day, over and over again, there's some uh, sort of codes and shorthands and things like that that we use to you know, simplify what can be very long, boring notes. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, at the start of every note, you're supposed to leave like a two or three letter um, descriptor of which department you're in, mm -hmm. so that people know exactly who's dealing with what aspects of uh, a, an account or a case at any one time. Yeah. My department is the customer liaison team. Right. Essentially dealing with existing claims mm -hmm. uh, for insurance. Um, abbreviated to CLT. Right. <laughs> ah, ah. Right, okay. You're T, the clip defeat, the clip on the keyboard, yeah. is right next to the letter Y. Oh. So I am constantly leaving and then having to amend notes where the first thing people see is Clitty. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had any such mishaps or interesting experiences? 100%. I once nearly asked by managers for a threesome. <laughs> How? I mistyped the word fearsome, I think. <laughs> no, no, no. This, this, is, this is your subconscious wanting something more, I think, Sarah. <laughs> because the only, I didn't even notice it. One of the other managers went, Sarah, can you reread that message, please? <laughs> All right. Oops. Where was this? Oh, months and months and months ago. Oh, so with with the current company, though. Yeah, so with the current company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not for long. 
Or, you know... <laughs> Actually, since then... <laughs> since then, doors have opened. The doors have opened. <laughs> the doors you have opened. Oh, man, yeah, it wasn't good. Oh, <laughs> just got to so show a little enthusiasm. I did accidentally, and for some reason, right, you know on the emojis on our internal, like, hangout sends that we send to each other? Mm-hmm. Obviously, they've screened quite a lot of the GIFs. Problem is, they haven't taken out all the hand signs. Oh, one of the hand signs is a middle finger. <laughs> and someone had written, someone had written on the group chat, I've done X, Y, Z, which was quite impressive. And my first reaction, instead of the thumbs up, was a middle finger. <laughs> so I had to very fucking quickly swap this middle <laughs> finger for an OK sign. <laughs> Shit, my fucking self. <laughs> <laughs> so now, the thing is though, on my frequently used now, <laughs> I've got, <laughs> which is just not, not okay. <laughs> Your favourite thing as a manager, no, as a yeah. that is perfectly acceptable. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's all I got. <laughs> oh. You must have it when, do you write the names on the, the cups? No, we never have to of, do that. Of the We're coffee, at Starbucks. Of the, uh, of the office that you work in. <laughs> of the place I work at, which yeah. I have accidentally said on the, on the podcast before. No, anyway. we've done, I've edited it out before, so you're fine. Uh, but, um, no, we don't have to write names on cups. Oh, right, okay, then, not, so you can't, like, write, accidentally write, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I read a thing that apparently people at Starbucks do it intentionally because it knows it gets some publicity, because people oh, yeah. talk about it. <laughs> I thought there was a genuine reason why they misspell it, not just for publicity, it's just something else. Oh, well. I don't fucking know. Can't remember. I think it's to stop um, stalkers from finding your name online. What? If it's spelt differently on the cup. They search that instead of the actual spelling of your name, something like that. That seems very convoluted. I know when they could just not ask for your name. But yeah. We yeah we never ask for names. We literally just read out the drink so here's your coffee fuck off <laughs> clitty and everything's kept <laughs> clitty <laughs> and everything's kept in order anyway so yeah, like right, okay. usually the customers will line up in the order that they were served yeah. so it's usually not too bad it's too bad <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have a response to that but it did lead me into a topic that I've had say for a while topic uh, which should just also be a nice quick one mm, which what is said. What was your and it can be funny or it can be serious if you want. What was Don't your give me choices. <laughs> like s- either one of or a couple of your biggest oh shit I fucked up moments at work. It was the moment I thought I told the customer to fuck off because I had muted. <gasps> oh. Shit. Fortunately, I had taken my headset off and then Oh, a, okay. I wish he would just fuck off. He's such an absolute like, yeah, he's such, nonce. He's such an utter twat. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm muted. <laughs> and this this was not long after me starting at Web Help. Oh no! Like, oh no! I'm gonna <laughs> lose my job. I know. Um, well, sorry. I was... Fortunately, I can't remember the name of the dumb bins, uh, but a lovely person listened to the call and said. It's fine, Phil. You can't hear it. All you can hear is that bastard in the background riding his bicycle. <laughs> he tried to call us while he was riding on a bike in heavy traffic with wind blowing, and then he was angry at me for me not being able to go hear to him. Hear him, yeah. And go, like, hear him. I was like, he's such a fucking knob. <laughs> Good. As, uh, I think if, if anything was going to come of that, I think he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> The only, like, real, real cock-up wasn't necessarily mine, but when I worked on Samaritans... Part- oh. <laughs> That's a good way to start! <laughs> was that in, like, a call, to, like, taking call, calls? It is a call, taking yeah. calls. So, it wasn't necessarily me, but when you're, on, when you're on shift, you tend to have one or two other people on shift with you for safety reasons and for mental health reasons, you know, if you need to offload, that sort of thing. Now, one of... <laughs> <laughs> one of the ladies. Just someone's there in case you need to come. They're basically. Um, one of the ladies, bless Who's her. Who's there with a dish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> one a of dish. the a dish. dish to catch it in. I don't know. A, a clicky dish, if you a will. A clicky dish. A saucer. Um, a saucer. A saucer. So. A saucy saucer. What this woman had done, bless her. This old woman. She had one of the volunteers. She had. She thought that she'd put this because she didn't know what to do with with this person that had called. And she was extremely upset, and she had no idea how to handle it. So she thought 
she muted the call. She did not. And what she did was she called her the other person she had on shift on and they proceeded to talk about this person on the other end of the phone while the person could hear them. Oh, mm. God. And it wasn't just what was happening, it was then their own opinions on this person's life. She then went back on the phone and that person lost their shit with her because they said, you've just said this, you've just said that, you've just said this, you've just said that. Over the phone. On the Samaritan fucking call. <laughs> it's like... And you're probably calling Samaritans because you're idiot. feeling. But it's not just that. What they didn't, what they should, what she should have done is just not given her her own opinion. She yeah. should have just gone. This is the thing. How do I? How do I deal with it? How what, do I what, help what, this person? What was her opinion? Like, what uh, was the it problem? was. It was like you know when you you know um she she treated it as if she was like speaking to it was like a, an advice hotline, and this is the advice she wanted to give, and these were her opinions on this woman's life that had called in. She really wasn't suitable. Um, and obviously that person was not best happy and was like screaming down the phone and everything. I was sat there going, "Well, you fucked up. You fucked up." <laughs> because you shouldn't really like no. pause them to go and speak to someone else about it. You should just sit there and speak to them. But yeah, she she fucked up. She fucked up. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Any others, or should I uh, give some of mine? Uh, you go on, because I don't think I've got anything. <laughs> It's quite on that level. <laughs> well, I remember I had an argument with a guy when I went to O2, which caused me my first panic attack at work. That Whoa, was fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, this was a guy who, uh, so for context, I used to work for O2, which is a phone company here in the UK. Um, don't work for them. They're awful. Um, also, don't work for Vodafone. They are the shittiest. Yeah. The, actually, yeah, Vodafone was We both worse. worked for them, and we can both agree. Vodafone was worse. <sighs> but, um, uh, so basically, uh, he called up uh, he wasn't even planning on upgrading he just wanted to have a look and I was taking him through some options that we had because we had a special offer going as well and we had it for a while so I was taking him through some options we had and he decided to go basically he said what phone do you think I should take now if you've ever done sales in regards to stuff like that i don't know have you you've never really done sales, i've literally done sales once at um, that charity place yeah. but that's it I don't um like so one of the main rules that we were told is that we are not allowed to give our opinions yeah all we can do is give them the straight statistics and yeah. facts you can say uh, uh you can say so for example one thing we do is we'd sort of have a look at their usage of what yeah. they did on their phone and try and try and as part of a sales tactic try, sorry I just farted as part of a sales tactic try <laughs> and tailor what you're selling to yeah. their needs yeah. which is you know pretty standard um, and I was trying to do that so what you're allowed to, is you can say oh well given your data usage I feel like this yeah. package would probably be the best for you yeah. you can say that but what you can't say is I prefer this phone I'd go with this yeah 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 you can't do that you're yeah. not allowed to give personal opinion yeah, yeah, yeah. and this man wanted me to do that he was like yeah. no I want to know which phone you think I should go for I was like well yeah. I can't do that I'm not allowed to yeah I can only give you the options and then like tell you how they might work for you and yeah. then let you decide but I don't want to decide I want you to decide I want you to tell me which one yeah. you think I should go for which one do you prefer and I tried explaining yeah. that I couldn't do that and he got very nasty with me it was clear he wasn't going to upgrade anyway he yeah. was just being a dick at this point yeah. but he got very nasty with me and because it was my first time ever dealing with it I got a bit angry back right. I started snapping back at him yeah. which I, re- I realised quickly after I probably shouldn't have done yeah. but at the same time this is the first time I dealt with it and I was just like you don't talk to me like this yeah 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 so I got really like really angry with this man yeah. like because he, he was being an absolute dick yeah Um, and then right afterwards I kind of thought oh shit I fucked up I shouldn't have argued with him but bless her my team leader was actually quite nice and she like immediately went and listened to the call mm. and then came back a bit, like half an hour later or so and was like yeah you, you, you shouldn't have snapped at him but he did provoke you yeah. so we can't really like I can't see you getting done for this because yeah. he's the one who provoked it yeah. which you know was lovely one of the other team leaders not quite so nice about it uh, he was a prick anyway I hated yeah. this man he was called Lee he was a cunt yeah. oh, he's um, never been a good Lee <laughs> no, there never but a like because this caused me to have a full on meltdown on the call floor yeah. um and he was really... I heard him talking to someone else about the fact that I had a panic attack on the cold floor. And he was really nasty about it. Jesus. Right. Like, no sensitivity at yeah, all. Yeah, And all he kept saying was, well, you shouldn't have snapped it in there. 
Even though I'd explained why, and even my team leader was yeah. like, yeah, but we've listened to the call, and like you could hear that he was being provoked. Yeah, but you shouldn't have snapped, because that's very unprofessional of you. Why did you do that? It's and very I, unprofessional of you to, shut up, to not shut up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, he was a prick. Yeah. So that was kind of one of them. And then kind of more minor ones that happened more recently at my current job, <laughs> one of them was... Laxative in a coffee. No. Um, the other week... I was on, bear in mind I was on all day. Mm. What did you do to, keep, to tea cake lady? I didn't do anything to tea cake lady. <laughs> um, but um, there's these women. Now, you tell me if you think, <laughs> okay. you, you tell me if you think this is, this is uh, you know, a good thing to do as a customer. Okay. We have these women who come in some mornings. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not enough to call them, they don't come in every day, so they're yeah. not like regulars. They're yeah. not in every morning. Yeah. But they come in often enough for me to know who they are. Yeah. So they come in, and they always order about 12 drinks. Right, okay. Because they order for, like, this group of them in the office that they work at. Yeah. Now, back when my old manager was still there, who I'm obviously I'm still really good friends with, she told them repeatedly, please can you order this through the app yeah because it gives us time to make them yeah because sometimes we're too busy in the morning yeah to be studying making all of these drinks when there's a queue of people yeah did they listen no did they fuck mm. they and their excuse was yeah but it gets us out of the office it gets you out of the office to go and collect them. i don't give a shit love yeah. you you're making our jobs harder yeah but yeah you, they don't you can do it them and, on the app and then just that's what, uh, yeah, well, so, yeah. now, well, now their argument is, oh, the app doesn't work for us. Bullshit. All bullshit. of them. Every single one of them. It's absolutely yeah. bullshit. Because it's usually all those individual it's the same phones. woman every time, and then she usually has one of two other women that come in with yeah. her. But every time I see them, I just, my heart, I say my heart sings. Yeah. I just immediately am like, oh, fuck off. Yeah. I hate them. They do my fucking head in. Yeah. Let's call her Linda. Uh, but apparently, <laughs> not the last time they came in, but the time before that, which was a couple of weeks ago. They came in, uh, and because the last time they came in that I saw them, we weren't very busy, so I didn't mind as much because yeah. it gave me something to do. But the time before that, when they came in, we were very busy. Yeah. And they had their usual like twelve drink order, and one of the supervisors had to take me to one side after they were leaving and said, "Mate, you need to do a better job of hiding your annoyance." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And he said. No, I like it was very obvious that you were very pissed off with them, <laughs> oh, and you need to try. And like it was trying to be friendly because we yeah. all get on, but it was like yeah. you really need to try and do a better job of hiding that because otherwise you're gonna get yourself in trouble. Oh shit! And I was like, oh, it's making me feel great. Oh, oh shit! Even though I explained why I was annoyed, it's like yeah. yeah, I get it. Like I, yeah. you know, it's not ideal, but you do kind of need to stay professional. And I'm just like, but fuck them. <laughs> he, he has got a point though. When you are even the slightest bit annoyed about anything <laughs> you are like a window <laughs> it is very clear that is that not happy not yeah happy. 12 drinks is excessive isn't it especially if you're not ordering um in front you should be thinking of the other people because it's just going to take longer as well surely it would be better yeah to just be able to but, pick them up and but go that's their you know excuse. they just want to waste people's time yeah, exactly yeah. yeah and then the other one but this is this is this is actually a nice little bit of work gossip, and I'll end us on this. So this isn't this wasn't necessarily a nice fucked up moment. But it's a moment where I kind of re- actually it kind of was, <laughs> but it's not really to do with the customer per se. Yeah. So, for the purpose of the tape, the place <laughs> I work at just so happens to be directly below the head office of the company that owns my. But my the building yeah, I work yeah, in, yeah. Uh, they own a lot of different sort of restaurant hospitality places around the city and a around of, the a UK. A lot of franchises. A lot of franchises around yeah. the UK, but their head office, just for the entire country, just so happens to be directly above the one that I work at, which yeah. is fucking annoying. Mm-hmm. Out of that entire office, there is one person that, that I like mm. who comes down on a regular basis. Yeah. She's lovely. We've actually, if I if I go in first thing in the morning, we actually have started getting the bus together because no. we usually meet at Meadowall. Yeah. It's very, she's lovely. She's sweet. She's actually kind of involved in this. Right. Now, there's another lady mm-hmm. who works upstairs who I won't mention the name of because obviously, you know. Karen. I, she used to be the personal assistant of the owner of the company. Right. Now she's just the health and safety manager. Right. But one thing that head office can do 
as long as one of the heads sign off on it, yeah. is they can come down and order as many drinks as they want, as much food as they want, for free. Right, okay, we're nice. Because yeah. they own the place. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking annoying, because then they'll come down later in the day and say, where's all your stock? Like, why have you not got all this? Because you bought it. You <laughs> took it for free. Yeah, okay. But we can't say no to them. Ah, right, We're not allowed okay. to say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um... And they'll have, like, 12 sandwiches and six... They won't just have, like, one flapjack. They don't usually, they don't they'll usually have, have loads. They don't, to be, to be fair, they don't usually pick up that much food. Yeah. It's usually all drinks. Yeah. But they, they sometimes come down with really big drink orders. Yeah. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we had... The most busy morning I've ever experienced. Yeah. At my like, I've been there nearly a year now, and it's the mm. busiest morning I've ever experienced there. Yeah. We were rammed out the door. Yeah. It was the last. I remember it was the last Friday of January because for every Friday in January we had a special offer on. Yeah. So on this day we had one pound cakes. So if you bought a drink, you got a cake for a pound as long as you had the the app. Right. For the for the yeah, uh, for company the I work thing, for. Yeah. Um. So we were rammed out the door from about seven o'clock in the morning Jesus. until about what. It, it kind of died down a bit close to midday, picked up again for lunch. So, all in all, we were very busy from about 7 in the morning to about 2 in the afternoon. Jeez, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, about half past... Bear in mind, there's only two of us on. Oh, no, no, no. Like, because yeah, yeah. Um, one of our... Kind of our acting manager right now, her daughter wasn't very well, so she right, had to be in she's... hospital with her. Right. Oh. So she couldn't get in until gone 12 o'clock yeah the new area manager who's actually brilliant yeah was coming in to help us but it's sod's law that we hadn't had any sandwiches coming with our food order right so as soon as she got in she then left again to go and get us some sandwiches so we had some for the fridge yeah she was gone for about an hour and a half shit right okay so that this was about three hours yeah of me and this other guy Having to run the entire shop by ourselves, yeah. rammed out the door. Mm. We couldn't get any pots in because no. we were, we didn't have chance to leave yeah. the till or the coffee machine. Yeah. Um, oh, that's another thing that he, that, this like is another thing that him. kind of triggered me as well. I was on the coffee machine for the first hour and a half of me being there, and then the other guy said, "Can I go on the coffee machine for a bit?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Yeah, whatever, that's fine." Because I normally like staying on there because mm. it means I don't have to talk to people. Yeah, was like, yeah. you know, I don't really want to talk to people. I was like, "Yeah, fine, go on there." But half past nine. This lady from head office comes down. Right. Bear in mind, we have a queue out of the door. Yeah. Very visibly, we have a queue to the door. Yeah. She comes down and has a 12 drink drink order for the head office. Wow. That she doesn't have to pay for. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we are expected to make it. Yeah. Even with the queue. Yeah. 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 But you still got to meet your targets and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Do you so know we what I mean? still. Yeah. So. Wow. And it just so happens that when this happened. The other guy goes, oh, can you jump on coffee machine for me now? Ah, right, okay. Anyway, nice. so th- this isn't even the mate that I fucked up on. This is just yeah. kind of some context. Yeah. So, had to make all of this bitch's drinks <laughs> and drinks for customers, mm-hmm. for paying customers. That's mm-hmm. the thing as well. These are the customers that are paying. She isn't. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're still expected to make them. Yeah. We have been told by the area manager now that basically if they come down when it's busy, we have to tell them you're going to have to wait. Like, yeah, come down absolutely. in half an hour. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. come down in half an hour, it might have died down, we'll be yeah. able to make them beer. Yeah. But, finally made all the drinks, yeah. as well as trying to work on customer drinks at the same time, and I found out from the girl that I get on really well mm. from in office that this lady then went upstairs and complained that we <gasps> took too long to make the drinks. <laughs> and... Apparently, she, the, the one I get on with, turned around to her and had a go at her for yeah. saying that yeah. and explained, they're really busy, yeah. they're working what as quick as they expect? can, it's two people. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so she complained that we took too long making her drinks. And then last week, mm. this is the, oh shit, I might have fucked up moment, yeah. except kind of also, ooh, drama. Yeah. Um, because I've noticed that the girl I get on with keeps making little comments about stuff that this woman does. So I get right. the impression she doesn't really like yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the one I got on with just so happens to be head of HR. Oh! For us. Um, she is going to be... Le- she's not leaving. She's just going to be taking over for a different company. But until, like, the end of April, mm. she's still our head of HR. Mm. So, last week, she comes in again. Uh... Get she she's only buying her drink because she, if it's her drink she'll buy it yeah so she buys her drink she buys herself some breakfast this is the other lady yeah, not the one I get on with and she comes in and she says 
Oh, it's a bit cold here, isn't it? Because she stood right in front of the fucking aircon. Okay, kind of like the old couple. Yeah. 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 And we explain. Oh, oh she was like, why is the aircon on? And Matt, sorry. And <laughs> supervisor I was on with that day yeah. explains, well, it gets really hot behind the bar. Yeah. Because we've got the coffee machine. Uh-huh. We've got the little oven, which yeah. is very powerful. Yeah, you've got the grills and And we've stuff, got yeah. the fridge, which yeah. gets very hot on the back because it's a fridge and they do that. Mm-hmm. So we explain it actually gets really hot back here, mm. even in winter, mm. because you've got coffee machine, steam, mm-hmm. you've got the oven, mm-hmm. all quite around. close together. We're running yeah. around. It gets really hot behind the bar. So most of the time we have to have the aircon on. Yeah. But it wasn't even on that cold. Yeah. It was, I think it was on like 20. Yeah. Okay. Which isn't cold. No, 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 no. But yeah. it was on just to stop us from getting really sweaty and yeah. gross. Uh, and so supervisor explained... Oh, it gets really hot back here, so we just we have it on because otherwise I get really sweaty and it's kind of uncomfortable to work in. And this cow yeah. turned around and said, "Yes, but you don't matter. It's the customers that matter, <gasps> and you're making their experience un- uh, you're making their experience unpleasant. So can you turn it off?" Wow. Okay. So, just trying to make conversation. Mm. When the when the lady I get on with came down later, mm. I was talking about. It. I said, "Oh, did um." woman whose name I won't say did she did she tell you what she said earlier to us and she went no what did mm. she say and I explained the situation and I said she complained that the aircon was on said it was too cold supervisor explained why it was on because it gets too hot behind the bar you know we need it because we're running around all the mm. time we've got coffee machine oven gets really hot really sweaty and I don't really think people want us like sweating all mm. over them as mm. we're working uh, but her response was that um basically we didn't matter and it was the customers that were more important and if they wanted it off we had to turn it off and she just went can you just tell me that again but like Mm. as close to her wording as you can so I did and she went leave that with me ooh I like that yeah. Uh, and then thanked me for a drink. Yeah. Sent me an email also thanking me for a drink. Because yeah. she's lovely. She'll if she really likes a drink we've made for her, she'll send an email and just oh, thank us for it. She's cool. so lovely. But yeah, she just went, Leave that with me because that's not right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Uh, oh no, no, I think no. Sorry, I missed a bit out. Apparently she had complained about the aircon mm. to her when they got yeah. upstairs. Uh, but she hadn't told her exactly what she'd said. Right, okay. So she complained about it, and the one I got on with sort of, again, had a go at her, and was just like, you know, you can't really expect them to yeah. work in, you know, in uncomfortable conditions. Yeah. But then I explained what she said about, you're not important, it's the customers that are. Yeah. And she was like, right, okay, yeah. leave that with me. She's and not I, your boss, really. She's not my, well. She's an admin She's person. head office, but she's yeah. not my manager. She's not your manager, no. exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I was just sort of like, ooh, if I just... <laughs> Part of me was like, oh shit, if this comes back to me, I'm in trouble. No, but the other part of me was like, ooh, yeah. drama. <laughs> this yeah, is going to be it. fun. Love it. Love it. That was fun. So, my little chickadees, <laughs> we come to news time once again. Yay! And this is courtesy of the Manchester Evening News. Ooh! And. Keep it nice and simple. Everyone makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. <laughs> Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everybody gets that way. Please let me know what that is. What is it's the lyrics to Nobody's Perfect by Hannah Montana. Anyway. <laughs> everyone makes mistakes. Says teen who blanked. <laughs> Spaffed on his gran. <laughs> <laughs> Teen there was no spaffing, but there was an who? elderly person involved. Oh shit! Teen who gran. twatted his gran. <laughs> it wasn't his gran. Teen... I don't believe it was his relation, but there was an elderly person. Was it person. a friend or relation? Colin. Yes, it was Colin. Teen who twatted Colin. Actually, it was an old guy, so he could have been could called have been Colin. Kevin, Tim, Kevin. Twatted old man. He doesn't have his name. Twatted old man with scooter. What the the dance? Music guy. Lord of the Dance? No, I meant an actual scooter. Oh, so not the. Jumping not the all man over who does jumping all over the not, world. Not, not the ha- how much is how the much fish? Is that. That's. A, have you seen. There's things going around on TikTok over the last few weeks. Yeah. Maybe it's just my TikTok and the algorithm is just. Cause, you know, it's Weird me. Shit. But I just kept getting recommended things about scooter saying random shit. 
Um, like, how much is the fish? Uh, which brings me to a thing that I need to now note down because I remembered that I wanted to do something about that in a future episode. Excellent. Well done. Thank you, stupid brain. Is it literally going anyway. to be, how much is that fish? <laughs> in the window, but, but... <laughs> anyway, right. Everyone who makes mistakes sees teen who runs old man over with BMX. Virginity. Loses virginity. <laughs> Loses virginity to old man. To old man. Uh, no. Oh, no, he said there was no spaffing. Uh. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes, says teen who karate kicked 74-year-old man into the River Mersey. <laughs> <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> how? How did he do that? Why? Because he kicked thing. him and he fell in a river. But why did he karate kick him? Why did he karate kick him? Was he touching him? No, yeah, what? what there, was, there was a definite series of unfortunate I, events. Maybe they were bobbing for him. apples. I don't know. <laughs> what did they do in Merseyside? Jesus. Isn't that near Liverpool? Yes. Is it near Sunderland? No, that's the opposite end of the country. Ah! Side. 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 Anyway, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the We Pay For Your Fall podcast. I've been Andy. He's been Andy. And I'm Phil. Uh, and just a reminder that this week's episode of the We Pay For Your Fall podcast was sponsored, and today's sponsor was HelloFresh. Meals delivered straight to your next door neighbour because you weren't in and now they've scoffed it all, the greedy twats. <laughs> And until the next episode, we will see you next time. I'm going to go home and try to be the best person. Neighbour. Living near your neighbours. Living near my neighbours. Living. Living. David Nipples. David Nipples. Living. 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 David Niven near your neighbours. David Nipples. Um, <laughs> near my neighbours. Chips and Donna come back. <laughs> okay. You better. We pay for your floor. <laughs>